Well, I'm here in front of my Kent mango. The Glen right here, it's got I think one mango left only, but the Kent has a good amount of mango still left. And these are pretty large. I mean, some of these mangoes are, I mean, if you I hold my hand, they're bigger than my hand, some of them. And they always turn, when they're ready, they turn like these, they turn like a reddish, yellowish color. And at that point, they're ready to be picked. Yeah, some more up there. And, you know, I, I like the Glen a little bit better than the Kent, but the Kent is really good too. It's, this is the, the, the original tree that my dad actually planted here in the yard. And, and they're really quite delicious. They don't have pretty much any fiber on them, just like the Glen, they don't have fiber either. And they produce, you know, pretty well and, and they have a, a, a really good taste when they got, you know, a lot of size on, on the actual fruit. They tend to be pretty big. They are bigger ones, but th these are pretty big. And uh, they're ready around this time, which is pretty much July to uh, August. Some of them even into September. Uh, for me here, most of the time is around this time, around July, August that I get them. I've even gotten a couple already, uh, you know, towards the end of last month. Uh, they've been good, but uh, pretty much most of them I get around July and August. It can grow pretty tall, but you can trim it. You know, you can trim it and keep it, keep it smaller. Uh, they tend to go upright, but you, you cut the top and then it'll branch out and uh, you can control the size you just I've given it a few good trims sometimes and you just probably won't get fruit the following year or very little but then pretty much it'll come back the following year and you'll, you'll get a good amount of fruit but it's the only way you can kind of keep them at a certain level if you have it in your own backyard uh, even at the orchards they, they, they do keep them at a certain size so it's not necessarily a bad thing. And also here in this region, uh, in South Florida with hurricanes, you want to make sure you keep them at a certain size. Uh, it's better for the hurricanes, they won't be affected as much. And though mango trees are pretty resilient, they're pretty strong. So they, they defoliate when, when the hurricanes come, but for the most part, most of them tend to uh, make it. Anyway, just wanted to share here a little video on uh, how my can is doing and all the fruit that's coming. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you like the channel. God bless.